apparently Sony executives think they don't have enough IPs to pull from and they don't nurture and care for certain IPs as much as they do others. No fucking shit. Oh my god, dude. Yes, uh, first off, I want to say this right now. I agree that they don't nurture certain IPs like they should. You know, IPs like Infamous, right there, just Infamous alone should be a big household name. Especially when we had superheroes being a big thing at, for quite a while. But no, instead they had to make their own, they had to make, uh, use Spider-Man, sorry. They had a chance to make their own homebrewed superhero, had three games, technically four if you count the kind of download game, uh, if people fucking remember, um, uh, Blood Festival. And, but no, they couldn't do that because they just didn't decide they wanted to. So, right there. Already, uh, IP I could think of that they could bring back and easily I would sign on. And it doesn't even have to be made by the original developers. Because, funny enough, my other Sucker Punch IP, because Sucker Punch was the original developer of Infamous, guess what? They were also developers of Sly Cooper. And Sly Cooper 4 was not even made by freaking Sucker Punch. So, yeah, again, kind of see what they're saying here, but at the same time, it's kind of like, well, no shit, Sherlock. You didn't nurture these IPs. You didn't care for them. So they fell by the wayside. No one cared. And now you're in a situation where you're like, well, we technically have this IP we can use, but it's not popular and it's not like mainstream gaming. It's not in the mainstream zeitgeist of, you know, PlayStation games. So it's like it kind of just falls by the wayside. That other fucking game that's a victim of that, Concrete Genie. That other game that's also a victim, Proper the Rapper, Apex Escape, Twisted Metal, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter. They have all these fucking IPs. They could just pluck, pluck, pluck off the ground, as they say, and be like, here you go. This is technically new to you. So it's a new IP, be resistance. Dude, you know how many fucking people would buy a new Resistance game? Just imagine this, folks. I'm just, just going to throw a thought out here for a minute. Imagine a PS5 version of Resistance Fall of Man. But then, no, 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 no. We don't stop there. No, 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 no. We decide, hey, with that, you also get Resistance 2 and 3. And then, you know, res bring up the graphics, bring up the resolution, make it look extra nice, look, put a little, you know, a little polish on that. And then when that is a success that sells over 2 million copies, huh, maybe you might want to think into doing a Resistance reboot or Resistance 4. <sighs> Crazy idea there, Sony. It's like you literally have these fucking IPs that you could test ground at any time. If you wanted to, just like out of morbid curiosity to see how many copies would sell, you could bring back Blasto and put it on the PlayStation Store for 10 bucks. And you know what? People would probably check it out and be like, oh, Blasto. I remember that game from the 90s. Oh, that was like the last of Phil Hartman, you know. Uh, that, that was the last Phil Hartman voice acting role he ever did before he unfortunately died. You know, hell, you could argue that maybe you could donate the proceeds to, you know, a charity that Phil Hartman was associated with. Just a thought. But yeah, yeah just like, they have all these IPs they can just pull from at any time. And they just don't, they just don't. They just don't. It doesn't have to be a video game. Dude, if Twisted Metal and Gran Turismo has to, should have sent a message to Sony, it's that if you make a compelling enough story and it's good, it's got a good solid basis for, you know, a story, man, you can make a movie from any of your IPs. You can make an Ape Escape movie or a television show. And there, I, don't, I don't know if you guys actually know this. There's actually a bit of history here. Originally, there actually was supposed to be a Ratchet and Clank TV show, but and it was supposed to be made by the same studio that did the Ratchet and Clank movie. But because that movie bombed so hard, that basically they did, they decided to cancel it. But there is a pilot out there. You have to kind of look for it. But there is a pilot out there that's like, wow, it actually looks good. It sounds like Ratchet and Clank. Looks like Ratchet and Clank. You know, I could totally see Ratchet and Clank coming back and being in a TV show. Or an anime. Hell, you know, I, I, I hate to bring this game up because, you know, it's dead. It's buried and needs to be dead and buried. But Concord, con much as you can sit here and shit on Concord, and I 100% think it's a bad game. Well, not necessarily a bad game, but mid-game. 
there were those animation shorts. I'm like, dude, why not, you know, get it, test drive that for Sony. Why not use that, you know, that animation studio to make a Sly Cooper mini heist series where it's like, let's see how many people are going to watch the Sly Cooper, you know, mini series and see if people want to bring back Sly Cooper. You know, hey, you know, get some third party developer on it. You know, license out your fucking IPs. You can do something, Sony. It's not hard to do. And if Lego Horizon is going to be proof of anything, it's that you don't always have to make these games in studio. All you need is one of your studios to overlook the process and ask, huh, does this fit the IP that we establish? Or do we feel like this is going opposite direction? Do we feel like this is going direction we're not okay with and we might want to, you know, be like pull them aside like, yo, bro, hey, hey man, just saying that that's not that's not our IP there. Gotta fix that shit up. Like I said, there's just so many opportunities you have when you look at their just their whole back catalog. And that's just like ones I could think of. Hell, you know what? This is Sony so tolerant of, you know, fat people. Bring back Fat Princess! Bring back Fat Princess! Put that on fucking PS the PSN store! The original Fat Princess, uh, you know, on there. Boom! <laughs> Chubby Chasers get their game! Okay, obviously I'm joking there, but that's not a bad idea. And like I said, this whole thing comes from the fact that they have this giant catalog. Like I said, I, I'll keep saying it. They could dip into it at time. They can make it, they could just port these games, see how many people are interested in it. You know, give us some fucking marketing material because you know you do want it to sell. But there's a way to do the Sony and you don't have to sit there and always have to make a new IP. While I, you know, I'm applauding you for the one to make new stuff, sometimes it's good to just dip into the old stuff and see what people want. So if all that said, guys, this is that PlayStation Gamer sign out. Can't wait to make, <laughs> I almost fucking forget, completely forgot my outro. This is That Place Search Gamer. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube algorithm BS. I'm going to go play some more Astro Bot, which is going to be my game of the year at this point. Because, goddamn, man. <laughs> this year's been weird. Peace out. And don't forget to subscribe and all that. I keep, goddamn it, I am just having brain farts today. Bye.